All right, so I want to talk about Wii Fit. Nintendo's big push into, I guess, the exercise scene? I don't know. The Wii had a pretty large casual player base, so this isn't like the worst idea Nintendo has had. So Wii Fit is obviously a part of the Wii series of games alongside Wii Party, Wii Music, Wii Sports, and so on. And Wii Fit, critically, was also one of the most successful titles in that series, but I almost consider this game to be its own thing outside of everything else. Wii Fit truly is a different experience all on its own from a standard video game. This will probably sound a little crazy, but I would dare to say that Wii Fit was really the first early successful example of interactive VR gaming. Of course, there isn't a headset or anything, but you do use your body to physically control the game a lot of the time, and I can't really think of any other games or consoles that worked that way before Wii Fit, and definitely none that worked this well. Closest I can think of is the iToy for the PlayStation 2, and that was basically just a web camera for the system. But I'm not really here to talk about how I think Wii Fit is an example of early signs of the evolution of physically interactive VR gaming. I'm here to burn some calories. Wii Fit is in the genre of gaming known as Exer Gaming, or Exercise Gaming, and it's not Nintendo's first foray into this genre. Over a decade before Wii Fit would release in 2007, Nintendo partnered with Life Fitness to produce the Entertainment System. This was essentially a stationary bike that was designed to let people exercise while playing video games. Heck, there was also a whole unit that would connect to the SNES. Talk about a gimmicky video game controller. But yeah, Nintendo has been aware of the demand for exercise video games, and with Wii Fit being one of the best-selling games of all time, and the third best-selling console game to not be a pack-in title, it's safe to say that Nintendo succeeded by tapping into that demand. But besides the Wii Fit trainers being included as fighters in Smash Bros, I feel like nowadays Wii Fit is mostly remembered for body shaming people at a very young age and calling them obese, setting them up for a lifetime of insecurities. But the Wii Balance Board is also really accurate, so I really don't know what to tell you. Obviously, having played Wii Fit again extensively for the first time in a pretty long time, I remembered what made this such a big hit among everyone in the late 2000s, and I can confidently say that Wii Fit holds up incredibly well still to this day, even for a Wii game. So, Wii Fit is really good about making the experience individual for each and every person who plays. You will get to assign your me, input your height and birthday, and take a body test so that Wii Fit can truly find out who you are. I always loved the body test as a kid because it ended with assigning you in a Wii Fit age based on how you performed. I would always try to get this to be as close to my actual age as I could, and I think only once ever did I actually get my real age as my Wii Fit age. Playing again recently, I was still able to get my Wii Fit age really close to my actual age, but not quite exact. Like I had mentioned earlier, the Wii Balance Board is extremely accurate. I was surprised at just how precisely it was able to measure my weight and BMI to what it actually is. Which I guess is a good transition into talking about the Wii Balance Board. This thing is the backbone of Wii Fit and what makes the entire game even possible. There were a few other games that would use the Wii Balance Board, but Wii Fit pretty much was the main one. The Wii Balance Board is pretty much a sophisticated scale that would measure just how much weight is on each of the four legs. This way it is able to measure your center of balance and know when you are leaning to one side, stuff like that. It's honestly a really cool piece of tech made almost entirely for just a fitness game. Also considering that Wii Fit only costs $90 at release for the balance board and the game itself is a really good deal. I can't state just how popular this game was at release as well. Wii Fit was selling millions in every new region it would release in and messing around with the Wayback Machine to look at old GameStop pages for Wii Fit. There were positive reviews for the game before it was even released in North America. And even a few years after the game released, the Wii Fit bundle was still on the homepage for the Wii section as a featured best title. People loved Wii Fit! Everyone praised how it could help you get in shape and stay healthy in the comfort and privacy of your own home. But that was all in the late 2000s. How does Wii Fit hold up today, in my opinion and experience? One of the first things you will be tasked with doing is choosing which trainer you want to have during your workouts. It's not a permanent choice and you can change it later on, but I really don't feel like going through the settings later, so I'm just going to make this count. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this trainer and get to see them in a working out environment, so I think I'm going to pick the hot one. And after choosing which trainer you would like to work out with, you are pretty much let loose into what the game has to offer. A lot of the workouts and games are initially locked, but they will slowly unlock over time as you work out more. I think this is actually a really good decision for the game, as an incentive to keep you for returning to the game and thus encouraging consistency with your workout schedule. 
even I was tempted to keep returning to this game, and I already regularly work out on my own, so I guess that just goes to show how effective that is. Even with most of the game locked away at the first, there's still plenty to do. There are three main categories to pick from, strength workouts, yoga, and balance game. Strength workouts are going to be exactly that, stuff like push-ups, lunges, etc. Yoga is well, obviously, yoga poses to help stretch and strengthen certain parts of your body. And lastly, balance games are the mini-game part of Wii Fit, mostly focusing on doing different things with the balance board. As a kid, when I played this game, I never did any of the strength workouts or yoga and instead stuck entirely to the balance games. Now that I'm older, I force myself to do stuff like strength workouts and yoga, then get stuck entirely doing the balance games. Look, if you disguise anything as a video game, I will do it. I pretty much learned math in elementary school because I found a PC game for it and I've learned the basics of two different languages because Duolingo's experience and achievement system. I'm an easy guy to motivate. Honestly, there really isn't much to say, at least in my opinion, about the strength and yoga sections in Wii Fit. They are really good and they do work you through each routine very thoroughly as well as give you tips if you are struggling. The trainer is always extremely encouraging and really gives off that feeling of it's okay if you can't fully do this now, but with enough work, you can. Which, for being an accessible fitness game, that's an extremely good thing to have. But, I'm a gamer. I don't want to exercise. I want to exercise while playing a little minigame. Honestly, Wii Fit has some of the best minigames for a Wii minigame collection. I don't know if this has to do just with the balance board making each of them stand out or just from how quick each one is to play, but I would be lying if I said I didn't have a good time with pretty much every single minigame I played. Now, I didn't get around to playing everything in Wii Fit, but what I did play was very good. The hula hooping game is iconic and really goofy and fun to play. The tight roping minigame is as frustrating as I remember it being. And the soccer game is a lot of fun to see how long you can keep the combo going. If I did have to say one minigame is bad, it would be the one with the tilting platforms that you use to get the ball through the goal. The concept is really good, but me personally, I can never really get the feel for this game and struggle a lot with it. But, it is fleshed out and has a lot of levels, so I can't even complain about it too much. I'm just not that good at it. But what if I told you, this isn't even all that Wii Fit has to offer. What if I said there was more? Wii Fit Plus released about a year after the original with more content to add to Wii Fit. This was pretty much paid DLC for Wii Fit. It's a whole different game and an entirely different disc, but if you have saved data from Wii Fit on your console, then Wii Fit Plus will connect with that and bring all your data and profile and connect the two games. Wii Fit Plus pretty much comes with everything unlocked, as well as a few new exercises and games. It really is just Wii Fit, but more. I also believe this is the game to introduce the calorie tracker to let you know just about how much calories you are burning with each workout. Not much to say about the strength in yoga, but the new mini games that are added are some of my favorites in the Wii Fit series, with my all-time favorite being the obstacle course. I, I love this so much. You have to go through a long obstacle course by running and jumping in place on the balance board, and while that may sound awful, it controls way better than you would ever expect it to. I had so much fun doing this minigame, and if I ever return to Wii Fit in the future, I would 100% be loading up obstacle course as the first thing I would do. Another of the new minigames that was added is the chicken flying game where you have to go from target to target to get different amounts of points. This was a pretty popular minigame, but I just don't see the hype behind it. It's slow and repetitive, and in my opinion, towards the end, I just wanted it to be over. There's also a snowball battling minigame that's pretty fun. I just wanted to throw that out there. Overall, Wii Fit Plus is the expansion the original Wii Fit game always needed. So why did it only take me until this year to finally hear about it? I don't know how, but Wii Fit Plus just kind of always evaded me until I saw it at a random game store one day this year and was really confused at what it was. Of course, I grabbed it and I'm happy to finally own Wii Fit Plus, but I just can't believe it took me this long to learn about what it truly is. But if you thought that that's all that Wii Fit had to offer, you'd be wrong because there is one last game in the Wii Fit series, that being Wii Fit U. Because how dare Nintendo try to name this game any more creatively. As you can imagine, this is the Wii Fit game made for the Wii U console, and the biggest thing that's going to be added to this installment is obviously going to be Wii U gamepad support. So with Wii Fit Plus, I pretty much expected it to be a lot more of the same from before, but when it came to Wii Fit U, I was really expecting a bit more of a sequel, but it's a lot more like a Wii Fit Plus 2. Which I guess isn't really a bad thing, 
just kind of caught me off guard to see my high scores from Wii Fit already on the leaderboards in Wii Fit U. All three of the Wii Fit games communicate and share data with each other, making this a really streamlined experience for tracking all your workout data. Like I said, the biggest addition to Wii Fit U is the gamepad support. This is probably the least gimmicky use for the gamepad in a Wii U game, just from how much more of a quality of life improvement it is rather than building the game around using it. In your workouts, you can see different angles of your trainer to help visualize the movements better, and you can even turn on the camera to see yourself like a mirror to help improve your posture and poses. You can also take a profile picture, and I thought that was neat. There are new tasks to do with your body tests that now involve the gamepad and looking around the room, and of course, new minigames. I don't think that the gamepad adds too much to the minigames other than the element to make them feel more immersive. Also, besides just new minigames including the gamepad, there are tons of remasters of the original minigames including some of my favorites like Obstacle Course as well as a new version of Obstacle Course where you can move not only just forward but as well as left and right which I think is really cool. It's so much fun and seriously controls way better than you would expect. One of the last major things that this game adds are dances. There are a bunch of different styles of music that you can choose to dance to and the game has whole routines to go through. One small problem, this requires two controllers with Wii Motion Plus in them, and at the moment I only have one controller and it does not have Motion Plus, so I guess I'll most likely never get to experience the dancing. No joke, I literally have two Wii U's with me in my apartment right now, but only one standard controller. I've clearly got my priorities all mixed up right now. At the end of the day, Wii Fit U is going to be the definitive way to play Wii Fit. With all the old content remastered in HD and all the new content on top of that just makes this the best way to go. But if you are a functioning member of society and don't own a Wii U, but you want to experience Wii Fit, then Wii Fit Plus will do you just fine. Also, all three of the games in the Wii Fit series are very cheap nowadays, so it's really accessible and easy to get your hands upon at least just one of them. So if you are interested, it's not the hardest thing in the world to check out. Overall, I think that Wii Fit definitely deserves the hype and praise that it gets for not only being an amazing, judgment-free way to get people into fitness, but also just as an incredibly unique gaming experience with all the balance board has to offer. All the different elements work so perfectly together to complement the overall game. And so with that said, I 100% fully understand all the hard work that went into making the Wii Fit game so good just to justify Wii Fit Trainer and Smash.